record. So here we are, folks. This is the building for the mayor of Van Buren. As you can see, I don't know what that building is. Or, oh, that's a church over there. Looks like it might be some type of tabernacle. That is Van Buren's finest, which they ain't got so many of. They got their cameras, but we ain't allowed to record. That's hilarious. City clerk's office. Really? <coughs> mayor's office, municipality. Here's the mayor's office. Here's the city council. I'm sorry, folks. I'm rushing around. I'm not giving you a proper uh, uh, education. Um, I'm actually looking for the mayor. Julie Copel. Hey, how you doing? We spoke some times before. I need to speak to the mayor. I'm having my uh, civil rights circumvented by a judge of yours up there in District 5 Courthouse, Charlie Baker. Mm -hmm. I can't get no paperwork in order to defend myself in a false allegation case against me, oppression of rights, violation of civil rights. Okay. So I'm trying to sue your county, your city, so I can get in my letter of intent in order to take care of my business, mm -hmm. and everybody wants to circumvent me. Um, could you turn off the videotape? No, actually, I have a right to record. It's, you remember that First Amendment protected activity? By any chance, did you sign an oath of office in your position? I'm an administrative assistant for the mayor. So that's a no? That's a, that's a no. Thank you. So I need to see, is that Mayor Hurst? Is he still mayor? Joe Hurst, yes. He's yes. Mayor. He's not in. He's not in? When's he going to be in? Set me up an appointment time now, if you would. I'd appreciate it. Um, I can call you, get, take your name and number, and I'll call you. Corey, C O R E Y, Schilt, S C H I L D T. Pass it on to him, I am sovereign. Just like the state of Arkansas asserted its sovereign government rights, I assert my sovereign citizen rights. You remember, we don't run under a, co a king or a queen. You all work for the people. Can I get your name again? Corey, C O R E Y. E Y. And your last name? Schilt, S C H I L D T. S C H I L. S child T S C H I L D T. Okay, and a good phone number? Four seven nine two one seven five four four eight. Or actually put this one down. Two one seven four one one eight. That's my wife's number. That way I can record any calls that come in. Two one seven four one one eight? Yes. And I need an appointment set up. And so the mayor can circumvent me. Who's the uh, council members? All their names, please. Uh, there's Kenny Bell. I can give you a copy. Of the former police chief of Van Buren is now a sitting council member. Really? Kenny Bell, Catherine Osborne. Um, you can give me a paper Mike for Neelan. their stuff. I'd appreciate that. Gmail, your email addresses, all that stuff. Mike Neeland. Um, it's all on our website. So the city clerk here, she can give me the paperwork I need to, for motions and subpoenas and all that? I don't believe so. I think that's through our district court or it's through civil I just went up there. They refused to give it to me. They said I had to give them a signature, even though Arkansas State Statute 2519-109 specifically says that any citizen anonymously has the right to come in and inspect records on the premises. See, the nice thing about being messed with by seven, for seven years by your sheriffs, by your cops, and your Van Buren wannabes, mm -hmm. the nice thing is that I learned the law, too, and I actually know the statutes. Okay, well, I'll give you a call once the appointment's set up. City attorney's name. Jacob Howell. Oh, the attorney for Quorum Chief Justice Dennis Gilstrap. Really? Yeah, I do know. I'm um, city manager. We city manager. We have the mayor, city clerk. City the council. Manager. So everything goes through as far as delivering uh, my letter of intent to sue on civil rights violations 2381 and also for oppression of rights. I deliver that to your Jacob Howell. Yes. I finally get to meet him. Thank you. Have a blessed day. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to educate on the building. Is that an issue? Do what? I'd like to educate on your wonderful building. What do you mean? Walk around and record. Uh, you can't on this side. The other side's empty. 
Right. Well, if it's open to the public, it's open, correct? But there's nobody over there except right. the auditors, the state auditors are the only ones that are over there. Right. Is it restricted? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Thank you. So, folks, there's their cameras, but actually asked me to turn mine off. It isn't amazing. I guess there's a girls' club, too. Redress of agreements. It goes a far away, people. And if nobody else will teach you, I sure will. Hmm. Hello, you the city clerk? I'm the city clerk. Uh, who do I go through to file a civil rights lawsuit against uh, the city and the county of Crawford? A civil rights lawsuit? Yeah, oppression of rights, violation of civil rights. That's usually when you go and you take an oath to office and then you violate it. That's why I sign accepted on your sworn oath of office. That way I can hold these people accountable under felony law. Um, UCC law doesn't mean US crap. U.S. District Court, I would imagine. U.S. District Court, I need to do it. Thank you. God bless. And folks, that was the city clerk, Miss Thomas, and their offices. This used to be a district courthouse, uh, a piece of crap baker is a judge who hopefully will be disbarred till I'm done. We'll be done. Oh, wow, check this out, folks. These are some of the old pictures of Van Buren, how gracious and how awesome this town used to be. But until the heathens and the Satan worshippers moved in and started taking over, claiming that they were Christians, showed that they were hypocrites, that's how it all went. Boy, it's going to make a good video. I'm glad I learned editing. So, let me see here. Stephen Pierre, this is Judge Cottrell, Judge Pierre, 1999-2016, he was smart enough to get out. Judge Cottrell, from what I understand, he's still here. Uh, municipal Judge, Joy P. Rogers, nope, Harold C. Range, Jr. And Municipal Judge Lonnie Baxter. It's pretty awesome. Let's see how much more they want to try to violate my rights and see how that works for you. It's just a uh, cordial center. And then this here, they said it's closed down. So they're probably renovating this. As far as uh, what they're doing with all their things here. This used to be where they had their corrupt prosecuting attorney sitting back in this area. As I remember, uh, Lena Pinkerton and some other individuals had theirs. Pretty wild how they doing all this as far as the renovations, huh? Been years in affect. Oh, they got a bathroom too. It's nice to know that every other business in the city that has to have a bathroom doesn't get to. Is uh, you're forced to have to put a bathroom in your business for customer service for the public. But when you go into some of these businesses, they tell you that you can't use it. Well, actually, by ordinances in most cities, they're required to have it used. So, and this will be Broad Street here that comes down. And there's a light over there by Papa John's where it turns into Main Street. <coughs> and take care of whatever you need to take care of. So, folks. That ends our tour of corruption. And we'll start off better again. Disaster assistance. 800-621-3362. Stay six feet apart, even though uh, under American Jurisprudence, Volume 16, 
It is explicitly written, I think it's section 97 or 93 under note 98, that you may not use any epidemic or pandemic to circumvent the Constitution of the United States, and they've been doing it for over 20 months. They done as of now. God bless you. It's called impunity. Hey, yeah, Mike Hunt, one of my trolls out there, and Troy Everett, the other troll, you can still blow me. Have a nice day, gentlemen.